Welcome everyone to the second installment of my 10 questions interview series. Today's interview is with Fast Vincent One, a small 2B2T YouTuber who started getting popular when he uploaded his first 2B2T YouTube video about a year ago. Um, correct me if I'm mistaken. I, I did some background checks on you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, I think it started about like eight months ago, I think. Don't know. Um, no, no. Um, well, I mean, I found a video of yours from over a year ago on your second channel that was up to be and had a lot of views. So I was like, oh, yeah, that one. I guess I'll. Um, it's like a, a meme video. All right. So, on to the first question Is there any reason why you didn't private your old videos on your main channel? Because <laughs> that's, that's like the first thing I found when I, when I went back there, aside from your, your new stuff. Yeah. So. Mainly because I forgot about them, and also I don't really care if people see my older videos, you know, because Baron Dome has like his older videos public as well. Mm. But you know, my videos. I think my first video is about the Vince who goes crazy slash hobo or something like that. Yeah, I think that was like eight years ago. <laughs> that was like when I was like very chubby. Yeah, you know, curly and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, that's that's cool to know. I, I don't private my old videos either, um, just my live streams because some of them are annoying. Uh, yeah. Also, I uh, kept them public because my old friends, uh, Jimmy, uh, Matthew, Maru, Sash, they hmm. wanted to see the videos as well, and yeah, I kept them public for a while. All right, cool. All right, on to the second one. When and how did you learn about Two B Two T? Since like you're such a new YouTube presence. So I first saw the video of, um, who was it? It was Rusher. He made his first video about 2B2T. Like I was not a Rusher fan, but I just saw his video on my recommendations. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. So I joined 2B2T. The queue was like a thousand, I think. I eventually got in. I played for, I think like an hour. I got to like 10K, 10K. And then I disconnected for a year and then I joined back a few months later, I think. I don't know. So that was yeah. like uh, 2016, and then you left for, and then you came back in 2018? I think, like, late 2017, I came back. I okay. Think. Cool. Um, so what's the, what would you consider to be the most interesting part of 2B2T for you? I think the history, you know, because it's the oldest energy server in Minecraft, like FIMC says. Mm -hmm. But, like, basically the, the history, you know, because mm -hmm, of yeah. Pop Bob and... People like that, like CC2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's also the exact same thing, which is the exact same reason why I like history on Tubi. I don't even like playing the server, I just like the history. Yeah. It's like, it's very old, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, since 2010. Second oldest server. The, yep. the best out online. of the old ones. Because <laughs> I, I, I tried joining uh, Minecraft Online. And it's so laggy, I got disconnected, and now whenever I try to join, it just crashes. <laughs> I think I joined once, and then, yeah, you can't break any blocks to spawn, I think. Oh, uh, no, no, you can. You can break everything. Just, um, it, it's just so laggy. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's, it's, it's a funny place. I'm, I'm very confused as to how anyone plays on there if it's so laggy, but, um... Yeah, I guess people persevere. Um, how did you convince all these old 2B2T players to do interviews with you? So I think it all started when I made the 2B2T history video on my channel, the 2008 to 2019. Mm. I was looking for uh, old players on Reddit for mm. their information for the video. So I messaged, I think, XCC2 first. Yeah, he's nice. And asked, yeah, and then he responded. He gave me his Discord and asked him some questions. And then after that, I made the video, and I think they respect me now because of the video. But <laughs> yeah, but then after that, I just kept asking them. Eventually, that was just a routine. All right, that's yeah. <laughs> but um, the Reddit, I think yeah, the Reddit was uh, the main thing how I found them. And then it's like I ask other people around, and they give me the old player discords as well mm. on the Constantium and Macrochasm discords. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so, uh, do you think Housemaster is, like, doing a good job running 2B2T right now? I think he's, I mean, kind of. 
I don't get why he's removing like packet fly and stuff like that. He recently just removed it a few, I think an hour ago. That's a lighter fly. Yeah, lighter fly. It's like a a feature for lighter mm -hmm. fly, so you can't use the nether highways anymore. Oh. Um. So, yeah, house master. I don't know why he's removing like the packet flies and peak entity speed. Like I remember when peak entity speed was a thing. It was not really that laggy. It was still like sixteen to twenty F CPS, but it's still the same. I mean, it's a little bit better, but I mean. It's not really that much of a difference, mm. in my opinion. Uh, um, so, like, in, in general, you think he's doing pretty okay? He's just, like, patching some things and you just don't feel like need to be patched? Yeah, he's doing a good server of keeping the server up, you know? It's, like, you know, about, like, 200 players online and then, like, 1,000 or 800 mm -hmm. people in priority queue. Or not in priority queue, but in queue. Regular queue and then 100 in priority queue. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um... Uh, do you intend to make any videos on sim PvP? <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe in the future. I don't know. I mean, because Mr. Cram, when he's like gonna make mm -hmm. the video, he got like backlash from it from sim PvP YouTuber or sim PvP mm -hmm. community. Well, I think it's a little different. Um, just mostly because uh, he's got uh like a fifty k subs, so people were really really worried about that but like uh didn't your podcast already do one <laughs> yeah i think okay. that one has about like 300 views on the energy podcast mm -hmm. yeah so mm. but i don't know if there was an influx of players on some pp for that there was actually there was i, I oh, there, was? And there were at least like five extra people who got banned for hacks <laughs> after that <laughs> video <laughs> So, how many hours of work goes into your average YouTube video? Oh, man. So, yesterday's video of the Valley of Wheat, uh, that took about 10 hours to do it. Mm. But, usually I make the videos in two days, because I'm I'm a huge procrastinator, or I don't know how to say it, but, yeah, I usually make the videos on the day I upload it, and on Friday. So, Friday I do the voiceovers and the script. And then Saturday, I just edit the video. So it takes about like 10 hours. Mm, so you gotta, so got the thing. got a whole routine. Procrastinate yeah. all week. In the last two days, I can do it. Yeah, I can, I can relate. I can relate. Yeah, so well, what's your opinion on 2B2T YouTubers since uh, you're one yourself? I think we need more like 2B2T YouTubers that like make history videos, you know? Because mm. there's not that many people like the only people that are actually making history videos is Trump17, uh, FMC, Salsa1, Baron Dome, me, I think. Mm. But yeah, it's not that many CBC YouTubers. I think uh, also Jake the Snake, but I mean. Jake the Snake. He's doing a good job, I guess. Weird. That's my opinion on uh, 2v2 to YouTubers. Right, oh, need... DMC. DMC's good uh, as well. Yeah, yeah, he's good too. Gotta make more. Um, okay, so more 2v2 to YouTubers is, the, is your consensus on that. So, out of all the videos you've made, which one is your favorite? I think my favorite is... Let's see. I think... Usually, okay. So, I don't really have a favorite YouTube video for my channel. Because every time I look at like a video, um, it's like there's always an editing issue in the video. Then I, I start to hate it. But then I think my favorite one right now, if I had to pick one, was maybe the Valley of Wheat, I think. Because it's my recent one. That one got a lot of good reviews on it. All right. Cool. Usually there's a lot of editing issues. Mm. No, well, I gotta say, I've never noticed any. <laughs> like for um, what was it? Like the, the fading in, like the cross dissolve for the videos. I usually have problems with that. Mm. And, uh, yeah, especially in the past, with the history video. Because okay. there's like a lot of editing issues. All right. Um, so on the same kind of thread, uh, is there a video that you've been waiting to make? But, or been wanting to make, but just haven't gotten around for it for various reasons? There's actually a lot. I think, yeah, the Imperator base on 2B2C. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. Jared2013, 
his uh, island base, I think. But he's not really that easy to get hold of. Uh, Pyrobite, the, like uh, interview of Pyrobites, I think. Mm. But he's definitely not going to get on. Um, Optopia, the interview with Optopia should be soon, I think. I still have to message him, but he's hard to get in contact with. Mm, yeah. There's a lot of uh, videos I want to make, but they're hmm. not online. Okay. Uh, so this is a lot of interviews with people who just aren't around that much anymore. And yeah. like uh, uh, some base of the videos about bases, right? Yeah, and also like the back doors. Like the second back door, it's very hard to uh, get in contact with iTristen as well because... I messaged him. He doesn't really want to respond, I think, because I think he still has some secrets for the second back door. Don't know. But. Mm. Yeah. Oops, sorry. It's cool that you have contacts to all these people, though. Um, yeah. All right. So that was those 10 questions. But wait. This bonus question. Whoa, you're oh, the man. first recipient of an, a bonus 11th question. And what is it? <laughs> what? I feel honored. <laughs> you should. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I'll do this again. <laughs> Look at the cringe is intense. Um, what are your plans for the future, if you have any? What do you think is going to happen? Would anything you see you doing? I in, think I'll keep making videos uh hopefully get to a thousand subscribers also mm. get you know make more videos i'm gonna try to keep making videos as much as i can because you know i enjoy making them uh hopefully i can get to like 10k this year hopefully don't know doubt though All that's right. my goal for now that's that's epic couldn't ask for a better answer to that question Thank you, Fast Vincent, for being on my on on my interview show. Even even though it, no one watches it, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah. Talk to you later, I guess. Good luck on your YouTube prospects. Thank you. You too.